Let's bring in Bill Baruch, uh, one of our committee members, because he is making a move in NVIDIA ahead of the print in overtime. He's joining us on the phone today. So you've trimmed NVIDIA. You've also trimmed it by 20 percent, right? You also trimmed yes. AMD. But tell me about NVIDIA. Wow, trimming it into the print when the stock is down, uh, what is it, down 8 percent or so in a, in a couple of days? It is down 10 percent from from the high. Yeah, um, we, we did trim it yesterday into the close and when it bounced back a little bit. So I was very happy with uh, with the sell price. But, you know, again, it, it has fallen about 10 percent. So I, I think some of the air is coming out a little bit, which is which is, you know, I think a, a good thing here. Uh, we trimmed it 20 percent yesterday. We also trimmed it 33 percent, about a third um, ahead of AMD's earnings. So we've reduced this. And really just monetizing the move that's happened, um, I, I think with the stock was trading above 700, uh, we really needed to see a, a revenue beat and raise, but a revenue beat that was somewhere, you know, in the five billion range. Um, now, you know, just a modest beat on revenue, I, I think, would be a good thing. They would obviously have to raise their guidance. But the stock's settling in, and if it trades lower, I have some targets to the downside I'm looking at, too, to, to re-enter the position or, or pick, pick more back up. You think we get dip buyers pretty quickly if this stock goes lower? I I think there's some really good technical levels to look. I think the long term story has not changed, and you know it, it's going to be. I mean, we're in the earlier innings of AI, and Nvidia is the leader. Um, one of my fears, more than anything, is just an unwind. And I've talked about this a couple times. It, you have tremendous call speculation. It's an easy way for a lot of, whether it's retail or portfolio managers, to measure risk, buy calls. Uh, the, the people selling those calls are market makers. They're selling calls and then buying stock. If this thing's not up 15, 20 percent like it was last May, all of that gets unwound, meaning the market makers then sell their stock. And the retail or portfolio managers long the calls are now have somewhat worthless calls or massively reduced value of those calls. In such an unwind where the story doesn't change, I'm looking at maybe a 610 to 620 would be a tremendous place where the consolidated uh, at the late end of January, first couple of days of February before taking off again. I would love to, re to you know, reestablish a stronger position at that level.